Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. I couldn't Ow. catch him. I am not dead. I'm not dead. Uh, maybe I could. I, I don't know. Plug this thing has a limited there, range yeah? anyway. And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Go on, just jam me in over there. Where? Oh, there. Um. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not. I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Oh, it's okay. supposed to be a toilet <laughs> joke. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on. Let me just get my bearings. Um. Just follow the rail, actually. Oh no. Yes. Hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No. Thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. The motion, the movement uh, that Wheatley has in his model is actually kind of neat. It really looks uh, as if uh, you can, like, you can tell just by the movement what he's saying. That's what's neat about it. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. Her? And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Oh, I remember this. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Yes, I killed her. There you remember? she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where, um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so, um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs. Braces. So all set. Although no braces on your arms, though. So you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on... Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. You just want to listen ah! to him, don't you? Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find escape pod. But as soon as you look oh at something, it doesn't say escape pod. Look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pond. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This you don't want to screw it up with the. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Uh. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. Oh, get out of there, Whitley. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do B? Did I do B? Did I start writing Man, power up. she looks different. Okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Her model I, I, looks different, what I'm trying to say. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? Fine. I've been Apparently. really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah. And uh, I can't move the mouse. Oh no! No, 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 no! Or oh, oh, more no, specifically, no, no, I can't no, control no, myself. No. Yeah. Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. <laughs> but I think we can put our differences behind us. 
for science. You monster. Mm -hmm. So that was a. I will a say though that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Yes, you monster. But uh, that was like one of the trailers for the game was that scene. And because of uh, GLaDOS uh, basically saying, uh, for science, you monster, that became a meme, right? Pretty sure. I still can't look around. Control has been taken away from me. Those monsters. Thank goodness for those braces on my legs. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. Mm. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Dual portal device, huh? There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Easy. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. So? What do you have? Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Mm. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. Good. After That's what that, I want. Who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Oh, so we can keep testing even after that. <laughs> after I'm dead. Or maybe it was a hint at Half-Life 3 that never came to fruition or something like that. Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Part 2. Dare, I've solved your problem, Val. Also, Chapter 2. I think there's 16 chapters. Sorry about the mess. I've really Nine chapters. Go since you killed me. Uh, I definitely won't be able to beat this game that. in one go. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Mm -hmm. Easy. Um, can I just, yeah, I probably can. Lasers are quick. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself though. We have a lot of tests to do. I like that the facility is being fixed up as we are moving from chamber to chamber. Man, all these loading screens, though. I guess I do prefer the old loading, uh, the old loading method, because uh, it it seemed more smooth, more immersive. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner.
Oh, I see. Trying to fit this thing through the wall. You just need to adjust it a bit to the side. That's all you need to do. Anyway. Trying to press the button. Oh, it creates a new cube. Okay. So... Good thing it goes forward and not into me. <laughs> that would be bad. Um, oh, we want to go it. We want it to go into here, so... I'm trying to think about things right now, sorry. Because <laughs> hmm. I need to make it go through here. Well, I just have to go to the other side then. Complex. See? Once again, I was overthinking things. Speaking of overthinking things, <laughs> um, yeah. Just gonna grab you real quick. Well we done. Go. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Still bitter. Now it's G. Or maybe she was being sarcastic. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Now this right there, that offended some people, I believe. Because there are some children who are um, adopted, and like the scenario here of this game's uh, story with Chell, the player character, is that she's adopted or abandoned. Uh, whatever the case, uh, it offended some adults that adopted some children because they, they thought, "Oh no, this is this is too much. It's it's gonna bother my children. It's gonna scare them," you know. Too many variables. Okay, that's what it says. Um, just looking around. Um, okay, we need to send one over here. And we can do that by doing something like this, presumably. Uh, no, this is way off. Close enough. Oh, we, we're gonna need two. Um, okay. Hmm. Well, let me go up here then. Aha. So. Uh huh, okay, I see. But if I jump, I'm gonna probably. Oh, wait, I can just. Yeah, okay. So I have to carry you. Oof. I was a bit scared right there. Because I was sure it was going to make me land directly onto the laser. Or I would basically slightly hit it. Yeah, I should have placed the blue portal a bit closer to here. Anyway, now we need to create a portal here. And then a portal there. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Oh, uh, now they're calling us fat, and that offended some people too. Actually, just Clados trying to like harass you in multiple ways like that really bothered some people because, like, 
we have a protagonist that's named Shell. If you look at the uh, out of game uh, information source lore or whatever, but people who play this game probably never so realize this. So they feel they're playing as themselves, you know? Because you can't see yourself and your character never truly speaks for themselves, so... Companion cube, or a cube, let's just call it that. I'm trying to think here, sorry. <laughs> sorry if I take too long uh, just thinking about things, but I'm trying to make sure that the laser won't hit me. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, it should have worked this way. Okay. I understand now. Uh, gonna wait for this platform to be stuck right here. <laughs> Make things a bit easier for me. Huh, how am I gonna not get hit by the laser? Oh, right, I've got this thing. <laughs> okay. I'm like Wheatley. I'm an idiot too. Most of the time, anyway. So, this should protect me, right? I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. In Portal 1, GLaDOS was, uh, like, she was sarcastic most of the time because, uh, they're, she's trying to pretend that uh, you're not gonna die a horrible fiery death at the end of the testing like all the other subjects in this one however she knows that you know everything about this place so she's not fooling around and holding back on her this next test involves the aperture science aerial faith plate it was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Hmm. High jumps. Hey, come on. Is that really it? Here's an interesting fact. Huh. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. It was. We didn't even use any portals on the last chamber. It's, it's already been 40 minutes. Wow. Well, not 40 minutes, but Let's just a little under that. Test is. Oh. Advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break after this. Glass by myself. It's not like Portal One. I don't have uh, the time to. <laughs> I don't have two hours to spare in a row now. I know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it that way. I can't really control my momentum uh, while doing this. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Oh, the garbage is gone. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Obviously. Oh, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> no! Ah, I can still pick it up from down there. Uh. Bye. <laughs> when I recognized that music, I was like, eh, I gotta fiddle with it. Oops, wrong portal. Anyway. Um. Yay. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that'll be enough for now. I'm gonna save. And we're gonna continue later. This is a longer game! This is a much longer game. So taking breaks when you feel like you think you could stop is not a bad idea at all. See y'all later. Bye-bye.